Hello, boys, girls, moms, and dads. This is Miss K with a quick lesson on doubling and having larger numbers for us to practice with at home. If we're going to double a larger number, let's say 23, first we're going to break it down into tens and units. In our tens column, we have a two. Two tens, 10 add 10, is 20. In our units column, we have a three. We're going to bring our three down. We're going to double each number individually, one by one. So double two is four. Double zero is zero. Double nothing is nothing. And double three is six. Forty plus six equals forty-six. So anytime you double a larger number, you break it down into parts, tens and ones. You double each number individually and you add up the products at the end to make your big number. Awesome. Shall we do having then? I vote yes. Let's look at 26. Much like in doubling, we need to break it down into tens and units. Let's draw our lines. 20 and 6. We have two ten. is another 20 over here. 10 and 10 is 20. And a 6 in the units column. Let's do each number individually again by half. So a half of two, if I have two fingers and I split them in half, there's one in each group. Half of zero is zero, and half of six is three. Because remember, six fingers, split them into two equal groups. Three fingers are here. So 10 add three equals 13. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on doubling and having with larger numbers. Good luck at home. Have a wonderful day. Do your homework and love you. Bye.